Hey, you in time watching? Give you a little history lesson, if you don't mind. Uh, probably title this video the Civil War of Old, comparing to the day civil unrest and martial law of the not so distant future. Why did the American Civil War start? Everybody says it was over slavery and the blacks being oppressed and all that. Well, let me give you the truth of it. Let me give you the friggin' truth without the bull crap, okay, and the propaganda. First was the issue of taxation, which once again was one of the factors, led to the fight to create an independent United States in the first place. That's what led to the fight in the first place, dude. I'm telling you. Okay? Are you being taxed to death today? Just answer the question on your own. I saw, yep, saw a little old lady say she's sick of it. I seen her in the background. No, just in time watching, just playing around, trying to make everything fun, but yeah, there's another one. She's about 45. She's sick of it too. Oh yeah, there's another one. There's a small business owner said he's shutting down because he's sick of being taxed to death and he can't get nobody to do nothing and, and he can't get the freedom. To, yep, that's right. There's another one. Saying they're sick of the big bankers controlling everything. Oh, there's another one. Send time watchman, trying to bring truth to a lost and dying and lying world. Let's take this ride. Issue of taxation, once again, was one of the factors that led to create independence of the United States in the first place. Each of the individual states were required, of course, to collect taxes for with that revenue in the coffers of the centralized federal government. The payment of taxes came, the right of each state to have a voice in the House of Representatives of Congress. Some states were displeased that this representative voice may not have been heard clearly enough. For the American South, this was a particularly sore subject. It is mainly agricultural part of the nation. Southerners felt a sense of entitlement. They should be given economic subsidies and reduced taxes because of the cash crops that were largely impossible to the growth in the North, such as tobacco, cotton, sugar cane, Having an effect cornered the market on these commodities, the South felt they should not have been so heavily taxed that prices gained for these crops were intended to be kept artificially low. Hello, in time watchman, bringing truth. I might change my name to Truth Detector. Hello. The price for the grain, the price for the cotton, the price for the corn was kept artificially low. About to put them out of business. Hello. Civil War back then compared to today. They jacked the commodity prices up. Everybody planted wheat. And then the bottom fell out, farmer. Am I telling the truth? Am I preaching to the choir? Hello. Prices gained for the crops from the north intensely kept artificially low. Financial detriment, especially given huge expenses such as labor, which led to widespread use of slave labor. Slave labor, contrary to popular belief, was invented by the American South. It was not invented by the American South, nor did American Southerners travel to Africa in any large manner to capture Africans to be enslaved. Rather, many of the slaves were in fact sold out by their own people. Let's drive a stake up right there. Put the old finger right there. Many of the slaves were sold out by their own people. Striking prophetic parallels from the first civil war. Lincoln took the train ride. Obama's taking the train ride. Civil unrest and martial law today. Civil war back then. Listen to what I'm telling you. We were sold out by our own people. You don't think you were sold out by your own representatives, congressmen, and senators today? Hello? Wake friggin' up! Wake up! The mass of Americans work in the fields of the South, serving the households of the wealthy. Forced to serve in the household of the wealthy. You don't necessarily go and clean up Rothschild's house, but old watch must come by here to tell you something. Your money being stolen from you is what keeps his house up. And Rothschild's not the only one. There's a list of them. But here's what I'm telling you. The thing which has been is that which shall be. Nothing new is under the sun. I stake my life, I'm telling you the truth. 
why not only the issues behind the American Civil War was a major one, they deserve further explanation. Slavery was certainly an issue, held explosive potential, tear apart relatively new United States by its very foundation. Seen the Constitution and Declaration of Independence, documents that were in effect, the U.S. Charter, right of the people to be free was guaranteed. I ask you today, and Tom Watchman coming to you, is the right of the people today to be free guaranteed? The uh, the uh, the right of the people to keep and bear arms on that little old bitty Mickey Mouse 50 caliber right there? Is somebody trying to screw around with that and infringe on it? I think they are. Oh yes. Go look at the handgun bans in all these states. Uh, is the Constitution and Declaration is the Bill of Rights being screwed with today? Oh, yes, it is. That's the very reason the Civil War was back when it was. It wasn't just slavery. You see? Let's move on. <laughs> there was a paradox with which to deal with. How could a nation that was based on human rights and freedom use enslaved human beings for financial benefit? Okay, listen to old end time watchman. The very thing that happened then has happened today. Except the only difference is uh, they can care less about your color, my friend. They can care less about your color. But they're doing it all over again. The corporations and the bankers and the puppet government is doing it all over again. Enslaved you. They've enslaved you. For instance... I have to buy a mailbox and buy the post and put it up, but if I go out there and smash my friggin' mailbox, it's a federal crime. So what I bought, I don't own. I bought and paid for my truck, sweat on my brow, but I have to pay a tax on my truck every year, and I have to pay a tax of insurance every year, or by God, I can't drive it. <laughs> Slavery. You see? You buy and you work for property, but if you don't pay the taxes on that property that you bought and sweat for, if you don't pay slavery tax, they take your friggin' property, set it on the courthouse steps for near nothing. <laughs> slavery. So here's this stupid redneck that everybody thought was so friggin' dumb bringing truth and not propaganda. You see? So you that think you're so intelligent that know-it-all? Game over for you, buddy. Game over. Let's move on. Continue to do so in large numbers as commerce increased. They're using enslaved human beings financial benefit. Continue to do so in large numbers as commerce increased. The answer, at least on the surface, was simple. This ain't permissible. North had little financial interest in stake and slavery was abolished. In fairness, it was easy for Northerners to condemn slavery, demand that it be stopped. But for the South, it wasn't quite so easy. You see. Southern United States of America in the late 19th century was one of deep tradition. Plantation owners were typically carrying on away a life and business that had been in their families even before the families established themselves in America. Because of this, plantation owners were compelled to maintain their affluent way of life at any cost. I'll be back.